Hello everyone, Crazy Daddy here again to answer your questions and today we are going to ask should I get a solar system? We'll break this video up to three parts. The first part is going to be approximately how much you uh, you can expect to pay for the system. The second part will be how much you can expect to get from the system. And the third part will be sharing of my own experience over the past decade owning a system. Let's talk about the cost of setting up your solar. So your home, you will have your utility box or tanaga box outside and that connects to your distribution box. First of all, you have to set up your solar panels on top of your home. A couple different types, there's poly as well as mono. Uh, probably a different discussion altogether and you can read up quite a bit of, about it online. These solar panels are then wired down to what is called an inverter box, which is this. Right. So the inverter box, uh, for most people uh, who have three-phase wiring, you can get a three-phase inverter box. Uh, you have them in two-phase and one-phase even. Uh, you can still have a one-phase inverter box even if you have a three-phase uh, system. I like to communicate and see what's happening in my inverter box. So I get a Wi-Fi, uh, whether you want Wi-Fi available on your inverters, uh, that may cost you a bit extra. Now on wiring, that's actually a fairly big job because the wires that run from here to here are fairly high power and your inverter box then needs to be connected to the grid. There is a difference in cost, uh, you know, if you're on a double story home versus a single story home, the distance from here to here, distance from here to here. And finally, it's very important that your contractor does the entire administration work for you, including applying for your uh, system with the local utility and government authorities the whole process takes you know anything from one to three months a 10 kilowatt system run you about say about 40 to 50k as i mentioned myr uh, usd that is about uh, 10 to 12k uh, usd one kilowatt hour system is going to generate approximately 100 kilowatt hours per month or about 1200 kilowatt hours per year so if you put a 10 kilowatt system 12,000 kilowatt hours per year at 50 cents per kilowatt hour that is going to give you six thousand dollars in savings per year assuming 48k cost divide that by six and you get eight years for payback plus minus 50 percent now this is a huge number so hence my earlier statement your payback period is going to be about five to ten years let's talk about the solar panels there is degradation every year the efficiency of your solar panels may drop by five percent the weather i have had years where there's been a very bad haze there's just been seasons where it's just rained a lot geography where we are our house built malaysia is very close to the equator so there's not much of a difference between north and south but there is a difference between east and west this is the roof of your house this is the sun if you are closer to the equator through the seasons, the effect of the sun moving is not so great. If you are on further up north or further down south, you will see the orientation of your roof uh, towards the north or south does play a very important role. Let's assume your house faces north in this case. The solar panels on the north and on the south is best the effectiveness on the east and west is not as good let's assume the sun rises in the morning notice east gets light north gets light, and south gets light now through the day just notice how it happens yep and around noon where the sun is right on top all the sides get light and the sun starts to set and you can see on the east side we no longer get light 
but on the north and south uh, plus the west we do get light so again morning north south east through the day north and south continue getting it and then in the evening it's the west north and south now this is the equator somewhere here it's most efficient on the south quite close almost just as good uh, on the north east and west you only get uh, the sunlight for half the day so it's very important uh, that you try to put as much as possible the solar panels fill up the southern uh, roof and then the northern side in my house situation you will see that I've uh, totally exhausted the north and south uh, facing roof uh, space in my home and there's one portion of the east side where I have a very tall uh, three-story neighbor home that blocks the sunlight to my uh, certain part of the west side of my house actually so I do not put any uh, solar panels there so I've hopefully answered some of your questions over the past uh, couple of videos but let me tell you uh, why I do it and what the benefit has been for me uh, now, first and foremost, there are rumors out there that solar panels are actually carbon negative. <clears throat> Let me tell you straight away, the answer is no, it does not. <clears throat> uh, countries all across the world embrace uh, solar to save power. There has been extensive research done on it. Solar power is clean, it saves carbon. And it's a great help to the environment, probably one of the largest benefits of, uh, to the environment directly. Now, if you look at the cost effectiveness of it, the jury is out. Uh, five to ten years, uh, yes, it makes sense. And I think that's the most important part you need to consider, that you are not really going to be worse off by putting on solar. But is it a compelling reason to spend your money uh, and invest in solar on a cost basis? It, that is not so clear. But very simply for me, what the greatest benefit by far has been is I am helping the environment and I feel good about it. Uh, my children were born uh, between 2004 and 2006 and I had a reckoning with myself about the future of the planet and the effects on the environment. It changed my life quite a bit and I focus a lot more on the environment and my business to, uh, today is in uh, different areas of trying to be of help to the environment. Uh, some years ago, I even wrote a book about uh, energy revolution uh, and talking about energy, but that aside, what I wanted to do was uh, be of help to uh, the environment and previously uh, to save energy I would even say the whole family slept uh, without air conditioning uh, that was fine until we started getting haze and other effects uh, from pollution another effect of at the environment so I decided to put in solar systems even before government incentives so that I could at least offset the additional power I was using now over the years I've gone more. I've uh, compelled. I've been compelled to do even more for uh, trying to save power, and I keep on putting solar panels. Not really because of cost savings. I try to optimize it, obviously, but just to offset so that my family can live in our home uh, as carbon neutral as possible. Uh, I even have cars uh, running on electricity for that same reason, and I'm making these videos for that same reason. I want to be able to tell everyone about uh, how easily they can do something to contribute to, uh, to the environment. So I think that itself is a very compelling reason uh, to put solar and like I said earlier, by far the best reason to put solar for your home. Do it for the planet, do it for future generations, it will make you feel better and no matter what it is, uh, this one reason is going to give you, uh, is going to probably uh, make you feel that you are able to contribute very substantially to the environmental uh, needs of the, of the planet right now. There was another question I wanted to answer in this section, which is, 
about electric cars. You know, every uh, people say you buy electric cars, but you are charging it with dirty electricity, meaning the electricity is coming from power stations that use uh, diesel, coal, what have you. That's uh, bad for the environment, and so therefore electric cars are not so good. What you need to consider in this is the time effect. You have to start and get the technology going so we get economies of scale, we get knowledge and we uh, get the technology uh, to evolve to become cost effective. So solar now is a very cost effective uh, means of generating power and that started because of earlier incentives where the government paid uh, early adopters some money for it. and. Now it's come to a stage where it's become cost effective and the government uh, does not need to subsidize a solar panel so much anymore. So the same with electric cars. We, we cannot just say let's get all our energy clean and then take a look at electric cars. We have to get everyone, we need economies of scale, we have to get people on electric cars so that at some point when uh, green energy uh, becomes uh, dominant, that, that green energy, uh, the cars are already all electric and that green energy can continue to evolve to provide the power for the cars. So we have to do things in parallel and not see in series. So everyone, the energy needs to become green, the equipment needs to become green, the uh, electrification of everything will allow green energy to one day overwhelm the needs of the planet. Right now we have so much need for power. Green energy is only so much of it, but over the years, green energy is going to increase and eventually there will be enough green energy to cover all our power needs and therefore we can stop uh, burning dirty fuels and, def and that's going to be a huge benefit to the planet. Now, green energy, because it's free, is going to get higher and higher and higher in uh, supply and at that point we are going to have so much uh, energy that we are going to be able to make life so much better for everyone. Uh, that is why uh, going green is not really a sacrifice. It's actually, uh, you can do it for selfish reasons because one day it's going to give you so much uh, extra power that you can make your life very comfortable. You will see in my introduction video where I talk about this, where I'm actually trying to do a lot more on this and trying to live as comfortable a life as possible with the electrification of everything by using my own energy. And that is actually my quest in life. Uh, and if all of you uh, start moving towards that, I think humanity is going to uh, achieve this a lot faster. Thanks for listening to my ramble about this. Uh, and I hope to see lots of solar panels on all your homes uh, in time to come.